In this video here, we're going to take a look at how we can isolate segmented objects with the Autolytics YOLO model. So let's say that you have an instant segmentation model, you can run one one out of the box with the base pre-trained models, but you can also fine tune your own models as well. We have videos covering every single thing in the pipeline, but in this video here, we're going to take a look at how we can actually extract the segmentation mask, isolate them in the image and then create like a foreground or object and then background as well. So pretty much just segment out every other pixel. You can have multiple different layers in your isolation. If you go straight into the Autolytics documentation, we have this guides tab. We can go down into the isolating segmentation objects. So we have all different guides here covered. Everything is available on here on the YouTube channel. So definitely check those out as well. So one thing here, for example, we could have an image where we do instant segmentation and get a mask around the person's walking here. Could also be the bus, but let's just say the person, then we get the mask. We can actually like filter it out and create a binary image where we have foreground and background, where the foreground would be the person's walking. <clears throat> so here, for example, we can see how we can run prediction with Autolytics. I'm going to show you a Python script in just a second, and you can use it all go through documentation, everything will be down in the description as well. So we run a prediction on our model, then we can iterate over our results and also just grab the contours or that is basically just the segmentation mass that we're getting. So when we run an instant segmentation, we get a polygon zone, which is basically just points defining all the boundaries of the object that we're trying to segment out. So this is what we need actually. So we just get our prediction, we have our results, then we can iterate through all the objects that we are detecting. <coughs> and then we can iterate each object contour. So pretty much just here, we just grab the bounding boxes, we pop it, we get the label, and we can do the exact same thing with the mask. So what we can do here to create a binary mask from the source image. So here we are segmenting out just a single person, but we will have multiple persons as well. So this is just one example and not inside the for loop. So we can create a binary mask here. It's just going to be NumPy zero. So everything will just be zeros in our image. It will have the same image resolution as our original image. And then we just have unsigned int eight. So when we have zeros in our image, it's basically just black. And if we have 255, then we have white pixels. So what we're going to do here, we're going to just pop the results here from our mask. So this is gonna be our contours from the last mask that we have in our prediction results. Then we can change the type to int32 because we need to do this so we can index our actual image. So then we're going to reshape our contour. So we have one channel image and also if we have like multiple batches and all that and then we can just draw the contour directly onto our mask this is pretty easy it's basically just drawing the polygon zone and then it's filling in the pixels in between so that is how object masks actually work when you're doing instant segmentation with autolytics or pretty much any other model out there so then there's two options here to move forward with the image you can go in do bitwise mask you can revert it as well you can do an inversion so we have all the background pixels being white and the person being black. You can have multiple different colors for each optic that you're detecting. You could have different layers and so on as well. Right now we just have a binary image. So here we have black background pixels. You can also have a transparent background pixels. So it could be that you want to create an overlay. So you have some optics that you're segmenting out. You want to overlay that on top of another image or a video stream. And that's a pretty good use case as well. So we can isolate with black pixels. There's a few different examples here, but I'm going to show you how we can do it inside the code. So this is pretty much just some steps that you can do pre prowling pipeline if you want to generate some visualization and so on. This is the full example code that you can use, but let's now jump into my code editor. So we're going to use a YOLO 11 nano model. Let's just make it a bit bigger. First of all, we just need to import Autolytics. From Autolytics, we import YOLO. We're going to read this image, which is just a boss.jp so the exact same as we have inside the documentation. You can use your own images. We will download the model. We grab the model names and then we just run a prediction with our instant segmentation model. So technique one here is just black background pixel isolation. So we just create our binary image. Let's comment this one out. Command slash. There we go. And we can open up a terminal. We cd into our isolating objects and we can run our Python script, object isolation, make sure to pip install autolytics first 
if you don't have that. It's going to download the model automatically the first time you run it. And then after that, it's just going to load it directly. So now we're just going to loop through all our results, convert to CPU. If you have it on GPU, we'll get our boxes, classes, and the mask. We're going to enumerate it and also just zip it together. So we have an index. So with the index, you can create different colors and so on. You can have a list your indexing as well. We have our bounding boxes, class, and mask, which is just getting zipped together. Then we create our bounding mask. We can create our mask that we're going to change and then we just draw our contour on top of it which is the exact same thing as we saw inside the documentation then we're going to convert it from grayscale image to bkr so we have three channels and then we can do a bitwise mask you don't really have to do all these steps here you can also come up with your own approaches this is just basic image operations with opencv so now we pretty much just got the example here it processed it now it's writing it out to our terminal here so we have black image zero so this is going to be the boss pretty much just the step by step you can colorize it right now we're just going to extract the actually mask from our image so what's inside our segmentation mask so here we have all the objects that we're detecting we're segmenting them out and again this can be used for overlaying or whatever you want to do with these isolated objects let's make it a bit bigger again let me try one of the other examples this is technique two for transparent background. Let's say that you're detecting some object that you want to overlay on top of video stream. This is a pretty cool use case as well. So we do the exact same thing. Right now, we're just going to do a stacking of our channels or pretty much just our mask that we have. So this is the mask we have and we have our binary mask. We have our mask and then we just do a stack. So now we have our transparent image. There we go. And now we can see that we have these people, they're of course occluding some of the boss. There we go. And now we have a pretty nice background, background extraction algorithm for our objects. You could combine it as well. So you could say that all the people should be on the same mask. Then you will pretty much just have this mask here and draw the contours where this mask here would be outside the for loop. And then it just keeps displaying this mask here on top of it. So you will just grab this one put it out here and then we are not going to for each result I'm lying we have to put it all the way out so we just initialize it once and then we're going to take all our results and just loop through it and draw it on top of our contours here for the mask so let's just run it again there we go let's see which one it saves it to it should just save it to all of them pretty much there we go now we have all the objects that we detected in our frame and that could be your own custom model that you're doing as well where we have them fully segmented out. So here we have another example with the use cases that are pretty much just mentioned where we're overlaying the detections that we get. So we have a mask object, we have our background, so that's just going to be another image. And then we're pretty much just going to create our background. We have our alpha channel, so then we'll have a BKR or RGB channel and then our alpha channel, which will be our overlay channel. Then we can merge them all together and we can just multiply our foreground with our alpha channel. Here you can multiply it how much you actually want to blend it. So you can also change the blending factor or like the opacity of your layer that you're overlaying your image with. So let's re rerun it here, take a look at the results. It's going to load this image to transparent and we'll get our overlay result here. So now we pretty much just have this dog image that we're overlaying with all the detections that we're getting, but this can this is basically just for demonstration purposes, but this is some pretty cool use cases and just good to know how we can manipulate the images. How does binary mask work? How does instant segmentation work? What are the actual pixels that we get in our polygon zone? How do we do the infill and all that? And just how to use our mask for our own projects and applications. Hope you learned on this video here, guys. Everything will be down in the description. Hope to see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Until then, happy learning.